Hi there, welcome to my new build series. I've got something really exciting to build this time and I, I, I feel really, really good about it. It's a, it's a great design, it's the new Era 3 Revisited. And it's the three revisited, so essentially it's the fourth reincarnation of an original design. It was originally designed in 1969 by uh, Chuck Cunningham and uh, Don Dewey and it was, appeared in RCM magazine. Since that time it's been changed a little bit, the most notable thing being the extension of the fuselage. Now this latest design, I say latest, is from 1996, so it's still 25 years old and that was done by Joe Bashir. And this is a, a really really good set of plans and it's available to download from the Axis Own website along with the original article that was published in the magazine. In fact all the plans are available on Outer Zone and the original articles. So it's quite interesting to look back and see how it's changed. But if you read about this and the, the how it flies and that, it just sounds lovely. Slightly smaller plane than my last couple of builds. It's for it, it's it's a 45 inch wingspan and it's for a 19 to 25 sized engine. Now the engine I'm going to be using in this is my lovely Irvine 25. It's a, a, a Mark III Irvine, so it's one of the later ones. Bags of power and, uh, and should be lovely for this. One of the things with the, 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 the plan that I need to think about is the, the, the sighting of the engine or the fitting of the engine because the, the Irvine is slightly longer front to back than the Fox 25 that's shown on here. So I need to, I'm, what I'm probably going to do, although I haven't made a final decision yet, is I'm probably going to move the firewall back just a small amount, maybe a quarter of an inch, and extend the fuselage maybe an eighth of an inch, something like that just to allow this to fit in. I don't want to just extend the, the nose because I don't want to alter the CD, CG potentially um, but also alter the look of the plane. So I'm just going to balance that out a little bit. And I'm using a four ounce fuel tank. Plenty of room in there for for, for movement back if I, if I alter the firewall. So that's something that I need to think about. The only change that I'm going to make to this is, is not related to the, the design, well, except for the, <laughs> except for the sighting of the engine, uh, and, and it's just how the ailerons function. And at the moment, it's got this single central servo, and I think I'm going to be doing away with that and just putting in a couple of wing servos. I just think that will work better, it will give me more control, more flexibility, and it's probably will be a little bit smoother. So, and that's it, I think. Uh, I'm going to be building this over a series of videos, so please subscribe so you don't miss those. The next one, I'm going to be looking at how we basically build the components, build our own kit, if you like, to start to pull this together. Working from plans is can always be a little bit taxing. You really have to think about it and you have to really check and double check because often with the printing and the scanning things have, have moved a little bit and um, perhaps a little bit of stretch and, and warp here. So please subscribe and please follow in, me in this build. I think this is going to be a really exciting plane to finish and uh, it's fairly simple build although when you look at the pictures of it it's lovely and sleek and got a lovely line to it because this fuselage, as I said, it's, it's, it's fairly simple, but you can see there's quite a lot of material that comes off from these uh, cross pieces. So I think it's going to look lovely. So please follow me in this build and watch how it goes.